Hello, my lovely ladies and gents out there. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have had a lot on my mind and quite a bit to share. Um, by the way, this is a little bit of Laura for anyone who's out there that's never heard me before, which hopefully everyone's been around to hear me and conversate with me and listen to my stuff, that kind of thing. So... I just wanted to introduce myself and let you guys know that I do a little bit of everything. I would love to do more, but this is just, you know, baby steps to do what I really want to do. Just to reach out to everybody and be motivational to people and to give, you know, life experience, advice. Um... No, I'm not a professional. <laughs> no, I don't have a license. Um, but just, you know, things that I was given, wisdom, and um, to push everybody to be their best that they can be. So, with all that said, I'm not entirely sure what my main audience is, and I don't want to assume anything. So I'm going to start with my lovely ladies. Um, you know, I, I do go to church, but it's not, you know, like I've been saying, it's not Christian religion. It's, it's personal. It's in my heart. I have the Holy Spirit that lives inside me that gives me these words in my heart to share. So with that said... As you guys know, I have shared quite a bit about my personal life, about my struggles, and with, you know, seeing a therapist and be medicated for my anxiety and my depression, PTSD. Um, but I wanted to share this with you, that the Holy Spirit spoke to me. It's basically... Ladies, my sisters, it is okay to feel down or sad. You know, it's it's okay to feel that way. Because for years I did. Even when I was, you know, a preteen, all throughout my teenage years, you know, young adult life, in my 20s, I was, I had my days where I was good, happy, excited, and then I had my down days where I was, leave me alone. I don't want to talk. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to be with anybody. I just want to be here and be sad. And I was. I was legit sad. And it basically, excuse me, it says, I, God says, God says that we are his. We are his creation. We are his children. We are to do what he says is our will to do. You know, like I said in the previous one, we don't live for us. It's not our life to live. It's his life that we're living. We were created to reproduce, to do his will for the future 20, 30, 100 years. God, know, God only knows how long we're going to be on this earth. We don't know. And it's not up to us to, to choose that and to decide that. It's not up to us. We are living for him. And that's what I struggled with for years. And several times over the years, I had the opportunity to take matters into my own hands. But I didn't. I fought through it because I knew there was the end of the tunnel and I was going to make it through. No matter what it took for me to get there, I would get through whatever it is I was going through. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it sucks. Life sucks. I will admit that. Life, plain and clear, sucks. I've been there. And yet I'm here to share my story with you guys. God did not create us to just be happy and excited all the time. He didn't. It's whenever we are filled with his spirit is when we're the happiest. Material things don't matter. Money doesn't matter. That does not matter to our lives. That's just materialistic. We are not materialistic. We are spiritual beings. 
we are to live his life, to encourage others to come to Christ, to push through the trials that we're going through, to be the best person that we can be. You know, I have gone through years of confusion, of what ifs, what if, what if this, what if that. You know, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, if you will. I've gone through all of that to be here to tell you that it is possible to get to the other end of the spectrum. You can make it over that hump. You can climb through any tunnel. You can climb out of that stupid pit. You can do it. You have that. You have the power to do it. It's, it's up to you. It's up to you to get out of that. No one else can do it. Only you. And that's just just what everybody doesn't understand. Is that you have to do it yourself. No one else can do it for you. They can encourage you. They can give you advice. They can pray with you. But it is ultimately up to you to decide that. And no matter how hard it is to do anything... That's just a part of being that person with a testimony to share with everybody. If I can do it, you can do it. Everybody can do it. He gives us that power to get through the trials that we face. And I know I'm getting all spiritual on you guys, and and I'm not going to apologize. Because this is the truth. I'm speaking facts and truth because it's in my heart to share this. And everyone has their own opinion about everything else. And this is mine. I know what I'm supposed to do. I know who I am. And that's the key. You have to figure out who you are on the inside to be happy. You don't need relationships. You don't need materialistic things. You don't have to have money. You have to have the Holy Spirit within you to be happy. You have to understand that it's not a religion to live. It's a relationship that you have to hold on to. To accept the fact that you can't do this alone. You need Christ in your heart to get through whatever it is that you're struggling with. God loves you. He loves every one of us. Doesn't matter what you've done. Doesn't matter, you know, your your history, your past. Doesn't matter. He loves you through it all. You know, I didn't believe that. For years I never believed that. I have done some pretty horrible things. But you know what? I'm a better person than I was. I changed everything. I changed my life all around. I wasn't mean. I wasn't cruel. But I was secretive. I had secrets. And I gave them up. I cut ties. Hard as crap to do that. And let me tell you, that is the hardest thing to do. But I cut ties, I broke chains, and I gave my life. I broke that cycle that I had had in my life for years. I broke that cycle. And I feel like a brand new person. Therapy helps. Medication helps. Not being overloaded with it, but just the perfect amount to get me to where I am now. So there's a song that we were listening to that we were singing in church. I'm not going to sing it. I'm just going to read you the lyrics. Fear has no choice but to bow. Fear has no choice but to bow at your feet. Because it has no control over you. Chains has no choice but to break. I had chains binding me down, and I broke them. God broke them off of me. 
because I rose up out of that pit and broke them off and I'm free. It's not a visible thing to see. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not magic. It takes time, years even, years. But let me tell you, your testimony after you face through everything and you push through everything and you persevere and you get to that goal of yours, let me tell you, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. It doesn't take having to get married or have children. It takes the fact that you have to, in your heart, understand that it's not over. It's not over. Until God says it's over, it is not over for you. There's a reason you're here. There's a reason why you're still alive. And there's a reason why you wake up every morning. You don't have to pray all the time, because I don't. You don't have to go to church every Sunday and Wednesday or whenever church services are. You don't have to have a Bible study to go to. You just have to believe in your heart. That he is always with you, no matter where you're at in life, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter what the pain you're feeling. He's there to wipe those tears away. He's there holding you. He's with you. I'm with you in spirit. Lastly, shame has no choice but to leave. Shame what we all suffer with and we struggle with, shame, being ashamed of what you've done, being ashamed of who you are and, and what you've done in the past and the people you've hurt. Shame has no choice but to leave because the Holy Spirit is within you. God is with you always, and he pushes that away. He pushes the enemy off of you he pushes anything off of you that's hindering you from being with him in his presence it's not up to us to do anything that we want to do it is up to him to push us to do it you know I'm not much of a motivational speaker I've never thought to be one But I do love to talk and give advice and share my experience. It's been a long, long road to get where I'm at now. In my first video, I've I had so many people to thank, and I and I have so many more people to thank. You know, it's not overnight I did this. You know, it was months. Months, not years, because it's just happened out of the blue. It wasn't something I was thinking about. It wasn't anything I was dreaming about or wanting to do. It was a couple of months. Here we are in May, and this was back in November when this was placed on my heart that maybe I should do something different. And here I am. You know? And now for the men. The gentlemen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys, dudes, gentlemen, pals, <laughs> all those words, all the above. You guys are a key in this life. You are the main component in this life. You guys have so much on your shoulders. It is unreal. You guys have more power than you think you do. I mean, we are all equal. But men, you, you, you kind of have the upper hand, so to speak, because you give life as well. We women can't do it by ourselves to create life. You're the main component. So, of course, you have a lot more on your shoulders. Of course, you have the most of the burden. But, you know, it's worth it. Because you also have life. You also give life. You also have more to hold on to. And yes, men tend to hold their pain in. They hold everything in. I don't know why you guys do that, but you do. But it's not something to hold on to. It's not yours. Your pain is not yours. It's not. 
you are to give that up. The same thing I've told the ladies. It's not your life to live. It's not your pain. But it's your testimony to share that pain, to give that pain, to give it to God, to accept Jesus in your heart, the Holy Spirit, to work through you. It's everything in that that creates you to be who you're supposed to be. doesn't matter what you do in life. doesn't matter which, what career path you, you chose. Because he told you to do it. Christ told you to do this because that's what he wanted you to do. That's your life for him to share with the world who he is. I read all kinds of stories. I'm currently reading two stories in my head, of course. I'm not ready to record it yet because I have to read it ahead of time. Two completely different stories. But yet, it's going to be fun. We're going to have fun this summer. I plan on doing a lot more than this. Sharing, that is. Whenever God has something for me to share, I'll share it. Because that's basically what he's doing. This is not me talking. This is him talking. I'm just the vessel. And if this isn't your cup of tea, that's fine by me. I'm not really here to please people. I'm here to encourage and to uplift and to be whatever it is that you need me to be. So, with all that said, I am going to leave. (coughs) And I hope you guys have a wonderful, joyous time. Watch whatever videos you want to watch, and I will upload whatever I can upload later. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get off of here, and I will talk to you guys later. Toodles.